Hola everybody, welcome back. Today is day four in the yoga challenge I have been hosting in collaboration with Silverwind. And today's class will focus on calming the mind and releasing stress from the body. You may find it helpful to have a yoga block or a big fluffy pillow to bring a little bit more ease to some of the postures. And if you want to add a little bit more spice into your workout wardrobe, exhibit A, <laughs> then simply use the code down below to get 25% off your entire Silverwind purchase. So when you're ready to bring some zen into your day, just meet me at the back of your mat in a comfortable seated position. We're going to start today's class in an easy seat at the back of your mat with the right foot crossed in front of the left, crisscross applesauce, or in yoga, this is called Sukhasana, easy seat. And I want you to be comfortable because we're going to be staying here for the next few moments. So if you find that this is a lot of pressure on your hips or that your upper body is leaning back, then you can take your block or your rolled up towel and place it underneath your hips for a little bit more support so that your spine can be tall and you can sit here undistracted. Once you've made any modifications you need, go ahead and take your hands onto your lap, palms facing down. Let your eyes close. And take a deep breath in through the nose. From the nose, exhale. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. This time, inhale for a count of three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale. And then this time, on your next inhale, slowly lower your chin down to your chest. Gently blink your eyes open. And on your next in-breath, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, hold here. Inhale, lift a little higher, lengthen the spine. And then as you exhale, twist your torso to the right, bringing your left hand outside your right knee. Your right hand can come to your low back or towards the floor or on the floor behind you. Three breaths here. On your inhale, slowly come back to center, reach the arms up. And then as you exhale, walk your hands forward. We're gonna fold forward. You can stay up on your fingertips. Just let your head and neck round. Or you can bend the elbows towards the floor or maybe even onto the floor. Three breaths. On your next inhale, slowly lift the torso all the way back upright. And then bring your hands behind you, fingers facing out, slightly behind you. Extend the legs forward and then re-bend them with the feet hips distance. And on your inhale, press into the heels, press into the hands. Lift your hips into a reverse tabletop. Now your, may hips, your hips may only be this much lifted, which is totally fine. Right? With each exhale, just think about squeezing your glutes a little bit more, keeping your chin tucked down to your chest, looking forward. Now this can be quite intense on the shoulders, so you can stay here. Or if you'd like to intensify, you can start to shift your weight forwards, backwards, maybe side to side. One more big breath in. Exhale. 
and then on your inhale slowly lower the hips all the way back down onto the floor this time crossing your left foot in front of your right modifying by sitting on the block if you'd like if you had it on the other side on your inhale lift both arms up exhale hold here Inhale, lift the chest, lift the spine, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, this time twist to the left, bringing your right hand outside your left leg. Your left hand can come to your low back or towards the floor, onto the floor behind you. With each inhale, think about lifting up to the crown of your head. And each exhale will twist you deeper, looking over your left shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Once more, inhale, exhale. On your inhale, slowly come back to center, lift both arms. And as you exhale, once again, fold forward. Taking the same variation that you had on the other side. On your inhale, very slowly lift the chest. And this time, as you exhale, you're gonna extend the left foot out to the side about 45 degrees, keeping the right foot inside the left leg. So the right knee is bent. Bring your right hand behind you, behind your right hip, your left hand onto your left leg. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, press into the right hand, sweep the left arm up and over, opening the front of the body, lifting the hips. Breathe in. And then as you exhale, lower the hips down, turn the torso towards the left foot and fold over the left leg. And then two more times. Inhale, right hand lands, lift the hips, sweep. Exhale, hips lower. Fold over the left leg. Once more, breathe in. Breathe out, hips lower. Hold, hold your fold for one more breath. And as you inhale, lift the chest. We're gonna switch sides. Exhale, right foot lands or extends 45 degrees. Left foot bends inside the right thigh. Left hand back behind you, behind your left hip. On your inhale, lift the hips. Open the front of the body, open the right arm towards the back of the mat. Exhale, hips down, turn the chest over the right leg, fold. Two more, inhale. Exhale, hips down, fold. Last one. Holding here, one more breath. On your inhale, slowly lift your chest. You're gonna once again extend your legs out in front of you. This time you're gonna pull your hips forward so you can lay all the way down onto the mat, hugging your knees up into your chest. You can rock side to side. Maybe roll through the ankles or take big circles into the hips. Now option one, you can stay here in this very gentle pose. Option two, you can take any variation of happy baby. So option one is you're gonna bring your feet towards the sky, grabbing the lower legs. And as you exhale, flex your toes back towards your face and work to draw the knees down towards the sides of the body. And then option two slash three, you can take your peace sign fingers and either grab your big toes or the outer edges of the feet. And again, with your exhale, work to draw the shoulders down and the knees down beside you. Breathing here for three. Keep moving gently side to side. Seeing how much of your low back you can connect to the floor. For two. One more big breath in. Exhale. 
And then on your inhale, gently release your feet down onto the floor, keeping the knees bent. The feet are gonna land as wide as your mat. And then as you exhale, just let the knees knock together. Very gentle release for the low back. Go ahead and take your hands over your belly and let your eyes fall closed. We're going to conclude today's practice in a similar way to the way that we started with some breath work. So let your shoulders melt down. Take a deep inhale through the nose. From the nose, exhale. Shoulders relax. Once more like that, breathe in. Breathe out. This time, inhale for three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, four. Three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Feel free to stay here in this final resting pose for as long as you'd like. Repeating the counted breath. Though if you are leaving it for today, I wanna thank you so much for joining this practice. I hope that your mind and your body feel a little bit more calm and you can always revisit these breathing techniques if you ever need to just take a second, pause, calm the body. Um, it's a great way to bring focus and, as I said, a sense of relaxation to your body. I'm feeling very relaxed. I hope you are as well. Thank you all again, and I will see you back here tomorrow for yet another day in this challenge. Namaste.